In this video, we're going to show you guys what you can do with the 2021-2022 KTM Gas Gas or Husky platform with our custom 270 Big Bore Kit. So follow along as we show you the difference between stock, as it sits right now, right off the showroom, and then modified after we've thrown our custom piston at it and our tuning. And we're going to show you just how much improvement you can get out of a properly done Big Bore Kit for these KTM Huskies and Gas Gasses. This applies from bikes all the way back to 2016 to current. And it's a really nice mod for these bikes if you're looking for big improvements on a small budget. Check it out. Alright guys, we're going to assemble this 270 kit. In front of us is our custom piston. We have it made for us by CP. We've got a bored out cylinder that's been replated. We use a very special hone finish on that, so it's like a plateau hone, so we get maximum performance. And we're doing this on a brand new engine, so life is easy for us. Look at that beautiful piece of piston right there. DLC pin, it's lightweight, it's an amazing piston and it makes awesome power. We've tested it against the competition's product on the market, and we're making consistently about a horse and a half to two horsepower more than the other big bore package that's offered for a lot cheaper price. It's the only reason I still offer this package is because the power is so good compared to the other package that we've tested. So I got the piston installed. Here it is with the cylinder on. That's a beautiful shot, don't you think? We're gonna move on and get the head on. As soon as we get the head on, we need to properly torque it. This is probably the most important thing that you will do when you're assembling a top end on a four stroke is properly torquing your head bolts. We've got our own custom gasket here. It's an MLS gasket. Works really well. We've not had any head gasket failures and we're really proud of putting this package together. So this is obviously a short clip of how we do it. All these bolts have been pre-lubricated with ARP Ultra Torque. It's something that I do here at the shop for all of our four strokes because I've had the best success with this assembly method. cams installed. Number one on getting this done correctly is that your motor has to be a TDC. Luckily KTM makes that easy for you with a lockout bolt. We're getting pretty good at this. I've done a lot of them now so I was able to stab this in first go. It doesn't happen every single time but hey lucky is lucky. Hey, if you haven't already, you need to head on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe to that thing, HP Race Development. And by the way, I've got an awesome video already up about the stock Husqvarna that we tested, which was that bike in this video. So you go click and watch that video, you can see just how much power the stock bike makes. All right, we're back at it, back on the dyno with our Husqvarna FC250. This bike now has our big bore kit installed, as you saw a couple of the videos from earlier where we've got the uh, big bore kit installed, our cylinder or piston and then of course we put the head back together and put it all back on. No other changes to this bike currently except the big bore and we're going to go dyno it real quick with the standard ECU. We'll go through map one and two just so you guys can see that. We're going to show you the difference between all stock, just the big bore, and then more importantly after this video we're going to show you what you can get out of putting a properly tuned ECU on the bike. It's going to be absolutely critical to put a tuned ECU to get the most out of the big bore and we'll show that to you in this video. So right now we're going to get back on the dyno. Really exciting part is whenever you get to build a motor and then check out how she does. So check it out. looking 
at here is the Dynatron between a stock bike and then the bike with our 270 kit with the stock ECU and no tuning and the bike with our kit custom tuned ECU for the Big Four 270 kit. You gotta remember that these bikes are dumb. They don't auto correct. It's necessary to run a flash or tune or other aftermarket ECU in order to unlock all these power gains. So definitely you wanna run an ECU. We run all sorts of brands, but I really like the kits and we'll touch on that in another video. So what did you guys think? Leave a comment below on what you think. Hey, and next time we got more stuff coming at you, so make sure you subscribe and like this video or you're gonna be cursed with bad juju next time you go to the track.